yes welcome to this video in this video we are going to discuss about chat gpt as soon as that you listen this word so those who have an idea about chat gpt and as well already using with and all the features so you may say yes we have already done and we have a good idea whereas the people who don't have an idea this is especially going to give a clear information what exactly and how it is going to be discussed especially in terms of a developer perspective so let me introduce about me and this is ramakrishna i'm having 14 years of experience in IT industry as a freelancer, programmer, and as well trainer. And I have skills with the different programming languages of Python programming languages, whereas Java programming language, PHP, mean, man, overall we can say full stack development. So Python full stack development, Java full stack development, then PHP full stack development and as well mean and learn. Okay, but here this is not the session about my introduction. This is a session or else a video which is especially creating to give a clear information how the programmer can use and implement or develop a code with the help of chart GPT. So Yes, let's start and let me share my screen. Right. Yes, we are even going to maintain a simple notes also. The first point. Understanding about chart GPT. So this is a word which is a popular since one year. We can say approximately since last 2022 November and recently just 10 days ago, one year, the first anniversary is also done successfully. Okay, and now how we are going to discuss, I mean, uh, how we are going, what are the features, what are the capabilities, everything, let's, I'm also using frequently in a day-to-day -day life. It's not just a part of for a video purpose I'm explaining. Whereas I'm going to create a concept of, for example, a program or a debugging of a program or a content related uh, creation, any kind of thing which is related to the concept of knowing something information. Okay, let's dive into the chart GPT. So let's open any browser. So I'm just opening Chrome browser. It's your wish that you can also do by seeing this video. And you can also just, even though that you don't have any idea about chat GPT, but this gives a clear picture. So my request is till end of the video, have a look clearly step by step. And you can also have a clarity about the practical, how chat GPT is going to be implemented. And it's useful to the developers. Okay, so yes, I have multiple accounts and I'm just going to open personal account. So this is, if you are the person who is going to have a first time about chat GPT and wants to know more, okay, the video might be a bit length, but to give clear information in terms of practical, it's not just a point of forwarding fast or else. It's not a part of just discussing an overview and closing the video. I'm not here to do that kind of thing. I am just going to give a clear picture with practical. That's the reason as soon as that I started a recording, then I start, I opened the browser and I'm going to show a step by step. Okay. If you are the person for the first time planning to start or what is exactly chart GPT and wants to know something else. Yes, first it is an open source. I mean, it comes under open source only. Or what is an open source? 
open source means it's a free to access there is no need to pay simply in terms we can say no need to pay or no need to purchase no need to uh, have any what you can say payments but i don't say every i mean the all the features of chat gpt are free i will show so first let me type here chat gpt and as soon as that we type chat gpt we are having chat gpt and as well chat gpt4 which is recently updated to this fourth version we are going to discuss with the 3.5 version and even i'm having an account okay let me just open this one right let me minimize this one chat gpt is free to use ai system use it for engaging conversations gain insights automate tasks and witness the future of ai all in one place so as you see here in the right hand side november 30 2022 it's launched but as soon as it's launched it within the one month not exactly one month even within the just two to three days it's got a high that is uh we can say popularity because people are very much interested to know within the fraction of seconds of any concept and it's even if you observe written in python clearly we are able to understand the initial release date is 30th november 2022 developers open a whereas engine gpt 3.5 free and paid whereas gpt4 paid only so whereas licensed proprietary service and platform cloud computing platforms stable release november 21 2023 18 days ago that is recently just they have done some updation release new release whereas apart of all these points it's written with the python programming language itself so how for that a python is useful we can understand those who are interested to learn python programming or as those who wants to enter into the programming languages you can easily understand the importance of python that doesn't mean the other programming languages don't have priority but that we will discuss later in our in other sessions or other videos so now let's yes let me just open as i'm having our account so it will be directly opening here the window chart dot open dot sorry open a dot com and you are able to see if you observe the left hand side I clearly explaining and as well practically with an open mind to get a clear idea what exactly the developers especially usage with the chart GPT okay so I even able to create a CSS mastery tutorial that is I want to create a new tutorial whereas HTML blog page whereas Java full stack course whereas local storage that is one of the functionality in javascript those who have an idea about javascript can get a clear idea the same way see all that that is what i say i since last year as soon as it's launched chat gpt i am the one person among others who is going to be frequently and used day-to-day -day life in all the points of whatever i have requirement okay now let's do one thing here what I will do here is, and I will be just click on my profile, which I have took with a Gmail account. You can just take, take with a Gmail account, and you can just, just I'm showing elaborating all the features. So click on general, that settings, general data. Let me minimize or close this. So theme, this is just default the system theme, data controls, share links, export data, delete account, whereas chart history and training so if i just click on general and it's having clear all charts so whatever i'm having if i don't want or i don't want to show or i don't want to uh see any more or as i want to make it a starting from make it an empty from beginning so I can just i'm just clicking for you to get a clear idea C deleting and confirm deletion yes within just one button clicking so let's refresh yes okay without refreshing it's even gone so you don't need to even bother about a refreshing the browser also yes empty for you to get any clear idea i just emptied the existing all the points whatever i have done discussed or understand or learned with the chat gpt 
Okay, now I'm just clicking on new chart. Okay, before clicking on new chart, already it is open for you to start. How can I help you today? Suggest fun activities, whereas come up with concepts, compare stories, telling techniques, show me a code snippet. For example, yes, I want to know what are the courses after completing of BTEC or B that can enter into the IT industry, right? It's a common right. So my question is, write me the course list to enter into IT. Of course, you can also just write simply. But it's if you just highlight like this, it will easily understand that we are planning to know something information technology. So write me the course list to enter IT into, sorry, enter into IT after completing the BE or BTEC. That's my question, just in simple. Like I guess you or as a layman, oh, if I'm the BTEC person, I just want to know, yes, I'm just, I'm not planning to have a professional way of discussion here. So let me just make it an easy way of understanding. So write me the course list or we can say courses list to enter into IT after completing the BTEC or BE. Yes. Yes, it's giving, and you can also easily understand it's within a fraction of seconds, it's writing it too much of content with the headings and settings and gets uh, points wise. Yes, let me have a glance here. So after completing, here is here is the list of courses that you might consider after completing your B or BTEC Master of Computer Science in, sorry, uh, Master of Science in Computer Science, that is MSCS, MCA, that is Master of Computer Applications, Master of Business Administration in Information Technology, Data Science and Analytics, Cyber Security Courses, Cloud Computing, Networking, Communication Courses, Mobile Application Development Courses, whereas artificial intelligence and machine learning, blockchain technology, all these things helps you to understand. After you complete your BA or BTEC, and which is, okay, among the total, uh, yes, 12 points, that is which is generated. Among these courses, which is currently most popular and as well, uh, we want to know, choose the best course to get high package. That's common question for each and everyone because we want to get a high salary package right now. So let me write here, high salary package. It's giving, these are all the things among the total 12, it's just selected eight, what are those? that you can see, data science and analytics, machine learning and artificial intelligence. But I mean, you will be even frequently listening into in your day-to-day -day life because people are mostly connected with all these words, data science, machine learning, or cyber security, cloud computing, block tech, sorry, blockchain technology, DevOps and cloud infrastructure and full stack development. And a part of all these points, IT project management, Agile and Scrum certification. Okay, I want to know like this, that is, if you observe in this first concept, we got a basic idea. Of course, based on your question, step by step, you will be getting a deeper and information that is whatever that you have exactly planned to know. Okay, for example, yes, the same question, if I want to plan, for example, write me the courses, courses list after uh, uh, to enter into IT after completing of B or BTEC 
in a tree structure okay so let's see the difference how it will be right comparing to previous now it's something better to understand what exactly information technology course core courses computer science is having algorithms operating systems database management system well that is core courses are categorized into easily two things computer science and information systems whereas specializations are categorized into programming and development networking data science analytics and information management electives soft skills internship and practicum so like this comparing to previous point which you got a heading and a brief description of one sub uh, we can say point wise now you can keep clear idea what exactly and still you can also generate more if you just click on this that is to give some more clear information it will just analyze what exactly that we are looking and it gives a clear picture with all the headings and subheadings and as well points and as well it's clearly giving the certifications courses what are the certification courses we are having and all these things so this is one point about you want to know something information within is within a fraction of seconds you can just ask the question according to you and as well not only in english language if you even wants to know in different language it can be a telugu or tamil or hindi or malayalam whatever it is it can just for example yes let me show you here i am just going to the top and i am just clicking on edit button i am just saying that write me the courses list to enter into it after completing the be or btech in a tree structure in hindi language okay even if you want multiple at a time we don't want to make it a question for each and every time separately so english already we have and then hindi telugu whereas um, okay i am just writing malayalam language sex so, setup it why we don't want to make it too much of things once we get an idea so that's enough so hindi telugu and right let me just click on save and submit see first it's giving a clear hindi understanding whereas telugu so it's connected to a religion uh, religion languages also we can say sometimes it will take to can just wait and one thing depends upon your internet speed and as well your computer speed also it will calculate so most of the people will be saying that commonly word is when there is something taking too much of time immediately internet speed is too low but there is one more inner point that you have to understand or you have to get a clarity how far that your system is also having a speed okay if you are using mobile of course mobile will be having too much of speed we know it bother but if you are using um, a low configuration of a desktop version then you should understand depends upon that you have to and see as it is just stop and it is asking to continue generate yes you can just click on continue generate until you can just see that in the right or of course the people who are malayalam people can understand this one the people who are a hindi language will be understanding this one where the people who are in telugu language can be understanding this one irrespective so like this so one that point we got a clarity how that we can find out information through chat gpt okay now i want to yes as we are understanding the concept now write a blog post that is you want to showcase a blog for example let us write about this chat gpt itself write a blog post about chat gpt with its 
make it clear a precise so that it will give more precise answer okay so write a blog post about chat gpt with its features with examples in real time scenarios so you can get a clear idea and or we don't want it too much of paragraphs in tabular format why am time like this means instead of just showing in just a text based uh, paragraph with a bullet point something else one example we have seen heading and a point that is paragraph second example that we have seen with a tree structure and now we are going to plan to understand how this chart gpt is going to create a tabular structure and that how you can going to copy and paste into your excel sheet also so write a blog post about chart gpt its features with its example in real time scenarios in tabular format yes let's wait so it's giving a clear picture and title time Unveiling the power of chat GPT and its title introduction, a small paragraph. It's creating a simple, nice tabular structure with its feature, as its description, its real time example. See, here I am not planning to explain what is chat GPT or something else. I'm planning to showcase you how you can use or utilize the chat GPT. Okay, so let's wait. So you can see translation, code generation, educational support, right? We have seen for simulating characters, characters, problem solving. That means you can also create a story. You can also create a blog post. You can also create um, YouTube videos, title, description, keywords, except that is blog. You can say for the uh, YouTube, if you want to make it something Mm, focusing keywords sorry not focusing uh, tags or keywords and a part of these things that uh, how you can give a nice thumbnail text for that youtube video all the things not only youtube we will be even connected to different things if you want to create if you are having a social networking if you are having all this if you want if you have a concept and you don't know how to present in a proper manner then you can just come and ask the chat gpt to present in a proper manner you can just get an answer it can just copy and paste into your social networking accounts within facebook twitter whatever it is and it will also help you to understand how you can uh, write the content or a mail in a proper way also for example if you are if you are planning to write a leave letter to your superior then or as your uh, lecturers let's let's say then then you can just ask the chat GPT to write based on the basic question. It will create how to write a professional way of email. You can just copy and paste. That doesn't mean, see, most of the people, I mean, some people will be saying, yes, chat GPT is useful. Some people will be saying it's a waste because I even listen that words. Openly, I'm saying that. And it's giving something like garbage information. It depends upon the perspective of their we don't uh, decide or else we don't judge exactly why they have said exactly like that or else why they are uh, accepting, why they are not accepting. If you are in need, then it is useful. If you are not in need, then it is not in useful. That's you have to understand. So yes, if you observe here, in this meanwhile, it's created a nice, you can get a clear picture, conversational aptitude, information retrieval, creating bright, creative writing, language translation, code generation, educational support, simulating characters, problem solving, personalized responses, summarization, conclusion work. And at the end, you can just copy this one and you can just paste into your Word document or wherever that you want. Okay. So, for example, if I'm just planning to make it, let me just, for example, yes. I want to create a blog. Yes, I want to ask 
while I'm discussing with you and I got an idea and I let me just create a blog. So why don't I create a blog first? Let me just do one thing. Now, of course, you can also directly copy with the notepad or as you can say with the Word document that as we are having uh, what is it? One second. So, to new, right? So, so let me just create a document. So, about chat GPT. I will be even discussing how that you can use the code and how you can debug the code. It can be even with the Python, it can be even a React.js, even it can be JavaScript, even it is a HTML, even it is in any programming language. Okay, if you are not at all aware of any programming language, also no worries. I'm going to explain you how to start, how to help you to understand and make you to use chat GPT with a program perspective. So I'm just designing so let me just create a nice page designing also here. Right, and just make it this. right. So you got this table structure, you got this one, something like this. And if you want this content, it, as it's not properly aligning right now. So for example, and if you want an Excel, worksheet then let's try whether it's going to have a clear picture of copying and pasting with the uh, rows and columns exactly this is just totally a practical for you to get it because the people most of the videos you might be seeing something already kept ready and they're just opening and explaining but i am not here to do like this i'm just practicing that, uh, as you are practicing in front of okay so i'm just copying this one especially the table not the rest of the content and just press down arrow that's it no need to if you just type a left arrow to just character by character but if you just type down arrow you will just make it so i just copied this one particular table especially and i'm planning to make whether it is going to have in a column wise or everything is very nice effect so right within just simple Thing, we got an idea and you can just even make it an excel sheet concept also right how nice it is and we can just see all the things so you got a clarity right then this is all about how you can generate the content and how you can copy either it is in the word document or is either in the notepad or is either in the excel sheet depends upon your requirement and depends upon the content which is generated and which you have asked okay now let's enter into the programming part because especially i even don't want to make it only the concept of chat gpt is just giving an information about content generating we even have an option see here give me an ideas uh can say yes x okay might be just changing for each x changing but now i want to make it for example if i'm the person i want to create um uh, a simple program with a python and how to uh, create a quiz application okay but we don't want to make it in the simple discussion make it a simple discussion first let me do one thing first write the project documentation 
about quiz application or app with MCQs using or in HTML, which is HTML file latest version. If you are not aware of this, not, don't worry. I will be giving you a clear picture at the end of the uh, session or video, how you can understand the basics of HTML and everything, even CSS also, okay? So HTML5, CSS3, and as well, JavaScript. Why I am planning to go only with this means it's just a static website, and we want to create a simple page designing, and as well, styling, and like look and feel, a nice look and feel, and as well, programming or functionality where user have to do some action part. So first, let me just click on it. Write a project documentation about quiz app with MCQs and in HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Yes, it's creating clearly introduction, technology use using all the points and purpose. See, within the fraction of seconds that we are able to get a clear idea how to start, what is the project documentation that we have to understand everything. So let me just even make it a talk. So purpose, scope, features, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, H home page, quiz app, results, and uh, HTML5, what you have to do with HTML and CSS and JavaScript, pre besides deployment, everything that it's just a project documentation we asked. So purpose, scope, features, technology used with HTML5, what you can do each. With CSS3, what you can do each. JavaScript, what you can do each. Right? And you can make it a quiz results page. Whereas implementation details. Now we got a project documentation. Okay. For the above concept, I mean the project documentation. Write the code for the above. Quiz app project documentation. Right. See, so it's creating a code also. I will even copy this code and I will run the code if there is any things that we require to change or else if we are getting some errors while running, we will be even asking how to resolve it also. So in this meanwhile, while generating, let me even create for you to understand. Quiz app. If you are already having an idea how to work with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, that's okay. If you are totally new, clearly watch this video. You will get a clear idea within just few minutes how that you can just understand and create your own project or your own simple applications and it will help you to understand how you can complete your assignments for example if you are attending to any interview and they have given some assignments and you can just easily understand how it works how to create it so and this is a visual studio code it's one of the editor which helps you to write the code and understand clearly how to debug also. Okay, so let's do one thing. It's something else, uh, as, I'm, as I told in the very beginning, I'm a trainer and I'm explaining the concepts of different technologies. So one of the batches going on, so it's just opening the default folder, which is already discussed previously and it's not closed. So you can also close this folder. So now, yes, let's open open folder and navigate to that folder which you have created. So I just created this one, piece hyphen app. Then, by this time, it might be created. I guess, yes, it's completed, I guess, and then just move to the top. 
first let's copy HTML and make it index.html. So what is index.html? Irrespective of any website or any technology, when you are planning to create a web page, I mean a project, it will be having an index. Simply to understand, any textbook will be having indexing. For what? To get a clear picture, what are the contents inside the textbook, right? So I just created here. So I, I just copied and pasted. I'm not at all going to write and take a risk at this moment. But that doesn't mean don't think. And everything that is helping, then why do we have a requirement to write a program? This is an idea for you to get an I uh, how to work with the chart GPT and as well how to get help with the chart GPT in terms of coding, in terms of document, document preparation. Uh, we can say in terms of debugging, but that doesn't mean it won't create any confidentials. Uh, we can say what are the problems that we have to understand that is chart GPT is having and also we'll discuss. Okay, first let me create here styles.css. Yes. And I'm just copying this one. And when you just come down here, it's given two more things. Questions dot js that is JavaScript code where all your questions can be placed here. A group of questions and then just go back in index.html file script.js. Right, then let's come to this script. Okay. At this moment, we are not going to discuss in this session. This, is, this session is not giving preference to understand what is this show question, what is this opening closing parenthesis. This session is especially giving preference to use usage and implementation or importance and its features. We can say overall pros and cons. Okay. That also we will be discussing at the end of this point. So and we can say questions.js. So let's go to the questions.js. Yes, we are done at this moment with sample contents. Nice questions. Okay. Yes. Now go to this index.html page. That is, you have just created a simple project with the web development with the concept of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And let's just click on go live. If you are totally new and unable to understand, and if you are planning to understand what exactly it is and how it's going to be, what is due, what is h2, what is paragraph, you can just leave a comment to this video. I will be helping you to understand clearly what exactly and how it works also, okay? So even from the beginning onwards, whatever you are seeing and whatever the questions that you are able to ask at your end, what are the questions that you have framed at your end based on the concept, what I'm explaining in this video, you can just leave a comment. We are going to have a clear discussion and it's giving a nice design with a nice box. Welcome to quiz app. Start quiz nice right now. So I'm just clicking on start quiz. What's the capital of France? Okay, I'm just clicking, but of course, don't mind if I'm wrong. I'm just clicking on Berlin. Whereas what, uh, which planet is known as red planet? I'm just clicking on Mars. So what just, uh, what is the largest mammal? So what do you say? Uh, I go with the blue whale or giraffe, what do you say? I'll just go with the giraffe. Let me just click on it. Oh my God. There is over three questions I just got. Only one score. But yes, it is good to know, right? But here, it's not a point of understanding of the quiz. It's a point of understanding how that you have done within just five to maximum 10 minutes of time, develop such a lengthy design of HTML style sheet. That is a nice presentation. Look and feel buttons buttons and coloring point, a font, everything, and framing the questions. And apart of all these points, when user is doing an action, clicking on a button, how it's working, is just giving a clear picture right now. So, okay, now 
Uh, yes, let me just go to the output. Here, yes, what I got here is we are getting a score one. That means there are two answers failed. I want to know how many answers attempt, sorry, how, uh, how many questions are there and how many answers we have attempts or how many questions that we have attempted among those, how many are there correct and how many are wrong. So what I will do here is I will just write a code again, sorry, statement again. Write the code or update the code to show the number of questions that is to show all the questions number of questions attempted number of questions which are correct and as well which are wrong and overall show the results in percentage. To the above code. So this is what we are trying to see. Let's I just given a statement. Let's it's generating. Okay, let's finish. You can also just move down. This is exactly that it needs to be updated. The rest of the index uh, HTML file CSS that's common point. So yes, it's completed. You can just, okay, it's given a point. Add these elements to the results page in your HTML. Okay, I'm just trying to copy this one first and I'm just going to paste. Where is that results? Yes, here. It's saying that add these results. So observe here, but one thing, you have to clear, get clear. Total questions, questions are printed right now. So go to here. Your score, this is the result, quiz results, and you want to see here. Okay, that's one point. And then go to the top. And just copy this JavaScript code that is script.js. Okay, let's see as already it's running and we can just just refresh once. Welcome to quiz app, start quiz. Okay. I did I done mistake? Okay, I think it's Berlin only. Okay. What is the capital of France? Berlin. Red planet. Okay. I'm just going to make it this time. Venus. Whereas elephant. Okay. Let's see. Yes, good. Score is zero. That's really good. Whereas total questions three. Questions attempted three. Correct answers zero. Incorrect answers three. Percentage zero. It's really good. Of course, don't bother and don't mind as the questions totally went wrong. I mean, answers attempted which have totally went wrong. It's just for you to get an idea how the program works and the design and as well how it, you can generate accordingly what you have expected. So this gives a clear picture. This video gives a clear picture about how to utilize the concept of chart GPT. Okay. So see, as one of the statement in the middle of this video, I said, and I'm even going to repeat once again. If you are in need of a particular thing and that is used, that I mean that is useful. If you are not in need, that's not useful. So we can't judge exactly that that particular thing is going to be 
exactly good or the particular thing is going to be exactly bad it depends upon the perspective it depends upon the requirement it depends upon the usage if it is giving a character then yes i'm getting a nice if i want to generate this kind of content with my knowledge it may take a too many number of hours over i'm saying that because see framing the context is not a simple thing but with just five, even not five minutes, in just one or two minutes, it generated the content and given a content. So, it is if it is useful, if you are in need and if you have some requirement to understand or know or something in a fraction of seconds or within less time, then utilize the thing which is we are having. And at the end of the point, as most of the people even having a confusion or a statement with the concept of an AI, an evolution of AI or a AI fusion from last year or since last year. Are we going to lose a job? No point of any losing a job. If we are losing a job, then why do we have to study all these things? I mean, let me say conclude your statement. I'm a programmer. Of course, I'm even a trainer also. There is, there is some technology, for example, a new technology is launched. Maybe it's, it's related to cloud technology, it's related to um, any programming technology. Or, is, okay, if you just take an HTML, just for your understanding, I'm not going to enter into the high and deeper with this, not at all. Thinking that you are the views, viewer of this video as a uh, new planning to enter into IT industry. If you are already having an idea, I can also discuss in terms of a programming terms with a Java full stack or Python full stack or whatever it is. Okay. So, but here, not the point of a high end, high end talks. It's a point of understanding to get a clear picture of what exactly I have and how to explain or you have to understand. Okay. So, what is I'm saying is if I want to know how to write the best tips and tricks in HTML. Learning a technology is different. Implementation of technology is different. Learning a technology means you will be having, even you will be getting a tutorial with a number of websites. But best practices with the latest, uh, with latest updates, how you have to even search, but now you will be getting a clear picture within a fraction of seconds. That is knowing that things is good right now comparing to not at all knowing or getting too much of confused and staying there itself. Knowing something is better, right? But don't think at the end of the, <laughs> at the end of the points, what I'm saying is a, that person, this person is especially connected to only a chat GPT and he's a, addicted to chat GPT or he's a beloved person of chat GPT, something like this. Today's in this video, I am explaining or I have given a clear picture to understand the concept of chat GPT. And in next video, I'm going to explain about barred AI with Gemini, which is just two days ago, it's launched and what it is exactly and how it's going to be used and what is the difference between chat GPT and barred AI, okay? And one more point at the end and last, it's not a last point just to conclude you and just planning because when there is a successful things we even have to understand the problems or is the uh, limitations also okay so i'm clearly writing what is the population in um, for example Orissa by 2023 okay that is I am planning to understand I am planning to know how many people are there in the Orissa I am just saying sending a message it is given a clear picture I don't have real-time data, so I can't provide the current population, meaning 
that chat gpt is not exactly up to date okay it's helping us to understand how to generate some sample content with a grammatical without uh, making a grammatical mistakes and making a nice professional way of writing an emails documentations course structure creation and as well making a project documentation and as well creating a project and understand to uh, work with the project and updating that project code also like this right but it's having one thing that it is not having a current data up-to-date data okay as of now we are choosing chart gpt 3.5 and i'm just now clicking on it if if you observe here what is the difference means our smallest, sorry, smartest and a most capable model includes DAL E, browsing and more. So, okay, let's do it. For you to get an idea, a very simple at, at the end. Uh, write me the unique differences. Between chart GPT three three point five and chart GPT four in because we are very much easy to understand tabular format instead of a paragraphs. Okay, so right, so that we can get a clear picture exactly what exactly is going to be happening. So you can just read feature. Okay, one second. Right then. Now, feature model structure chart GPT 3.5 in GPT 4 hypothetical improved architecture for better context understanding. Whereas parameter count several billion parameters, whereas potentially more parameters for enhanced complexity and understanding. Training data. Whereas pre-trained for trained pre-trained on diverse internet text, a larger and more recent data text, so data set for update information and content. So as of you can just write read as of not all the points. But as a user, end user, as if you want to get the latest and current information, then chat GPT is not. If you are planning to understand to help you your day-to-day -day -day life of understanding of what exactly that you have to write the code or generate the content or anything, then you can just use the chat GPT, okay? And thank you so much Ed, to have a view at this video and whatever the questions or comments or feedback or opinions, I request you to please kindly leave a comment. I'm here to help you understand or else I will be even updating with all the questions whatever you have okay thank you so much and bye